Hey everyone, this will just be a short video demoing my new camera plugin that I've been working on for a little bit on and off. Uh, this is it right here. Uh, this is the first version, first working version, I'll call it version 1. It's a fully functional, uh, haven't found any bugs. Uh, the instructions to get this to work are uh, going to be at the end of the video, so if you want to play around with this yourself like I am here. So everything you see that I'm using has been made from scratch using just GUI elements and these two scripts that I made. Uh, all the functionality is in here, these two. It's a lot of code. Uh, honestly, I wrote most of the code in just like two weeks in April, and then I just kind of like stopped. Oh yeah, you can, uh, you see that you can hide it so you can watch your uh, beautiful animation play. This plugin just uh, lets you set the keyframes because uh, the way I implemented keyframes, if I wanted to edit them, I'd have to manually just type in the numbers, and that was kind of that was kind of boring. So I made all this. See, isn't this interesting? Not but really though. I'll let this video play uh, for itself.
funny thing is though, this is kind of similar to what happened with Wayne Lytle and Anime Music, only nowhere near the scale of what actually happened. For me, I was just making this animation and then I realized, hey, it'd be easier to make more of these if I made a, a plug-in a software of sorts for all the camera work. But what Wayne did is that he made like a whole software suite, he made all this, this, that, uh, which is really impressive to me, honestly. Making this plugin has really given me a lot of respect to uh, what Wayne has done, both past and present. Okay, so in order to get the plugin working, you're going to want to go here to the plugin link, which is in the description, and then uh, you'll click install. It'll open studio, it'll say studio camera emitter successfully installed. It will only work if you go to the place, this is the the same place that I used to develop a uh, Roblox Pipe Dream. Uh, do not click play. What you want is you want to click edit and that will open the place in studio. And uh, you'll if you go in plugins, it should say studio camera editor up there. And in order to make it run, click F8 on your keyboard and this will run studio without your player model loading and the camera plugin will uh, show up and it'll be fully functional. And if it doesn't work, uh, make sure in server storage, run camera editor. This has to be set to true for it to work, which it is by default. In order to to save what you're, and yes, these are all the, the files by the way. In order to save, you're gonna wanna go in here, keyframes. This is the data it's actually modifying. So you just want to select all of these in, uh, and then just copy and paste them back in the default place. Uh, you can't uh, save a copy of the... No, I'm sorry. You can't save over the original, but anyone can go in. They can uh, create a copy. Well, I can't, but anyone can with an account can go here. They can uh, create a copy and then uh, modify it as they so desire. So yeah, have fun.